never bother me anyway. Let's do the makeup. We'll start off with all of your normal skincare products. We want to start with a good base. I like to add a layer of mascara right at the beginning so I don't have to spend time waiting for the layers to dry later on. And you need your primer in there too. Since the eyes are so dramatic for this look, I like to do the eyeshadow first so that any fallout or anything is easier to clean up. So we're going in with these colors here. This is the inner corner. This will be the lid of the eye. And then this guy will be the contour. I do also like to go into the water lines. We get that big doe eye look. This is step two of the eyeshadow, and now that the lid is all covered, let's go in with the contour with our dark purple to give the eyes a bit of dimension. At this point, I like to go in with a second layer of mascara and then get started on the face. So we'll get that foundation all over, all over, everywhere. Then it's time for concealer. It goes in all the spots you would normally put concealer, and you blend that out too. Then I go in with my powder foundation. This is the point where I switch from my liquid products to my powder products. Then I go in with my contour on the cheekbones, the side of the nose, and under the chin. Since contouring is one of my later steps, I do need to do it with a lighter hand. But once you have it done, you can see you have, do have nice shadows on your face. I like to brush through the brows at this point as well. Since we're wearing a platinum blonde wig, I don't add any color. I just try to keep my brows as natural as possible. Then we go in with a blush, and I also have a highlight on top of that. I place it pretty high up on my cheekbones so that I get a more youthful look. I also add it right at the very tip of the nose for cuteness. And eyeliner. I got some setting spray in there. Let's get those lashes on. See how much of a difference that makes. And of course, you need some glitter and a nice bold lipstick. Here it goes into pin curls. If you need to learn how to do that, I have a tutorial on that as well. Let's go build some snowmen!